how to crochet a hexagon motif we're going to use it for um, a project later on where we're going to join several together so what we're going to use is some t-shirt yarn it's made from a recycled t-shirt fabric that's been cut into strips and a chunky crochet hook so this one is 12 millimeters okay so let's get started so to start off we need to make a magic loop so that's this center part here it sounds really complicated but it's not so you just get the yarn and wrap it around your fingers twice and then what we're going to do is crochet into this central hole so to start off we need to do three chain stitches you just make a little slip knot one two three so that's your first so that counts as one stitch the three chains and we need to make a treble okay and now so we've got two stitches when we need to do two chains and that you've completed one repeat so we're going to do that another five times I'm going to speed the video up from now we've got one two three four repeats so now we can start making this hole a little bit smaller the magic loop so you want to get that little tail end and just pull it pull it tighter and you can see the hole is closing up now we're going to fit another two in two um, double trebles in there done the first round to fully complete the first round we need to close up off that row so I'm gonna you can see here that's the first three chains put your hook in there we're just gonna slip through slip it through both so the first chain stitch and the last one we can tighten that loop up a bit more now so it's nice and tight okay so now we're on to the second row so as you can see in this pattern so in the first row you have two trebles and two chains two trebles and two chains six times in the second row we have four trebles two chain four trebles two chain okay so We're going to start again with a three chain stitch, but we're going to do it on the next row. So up here. That's one, two, three. Now, this is the tricky part. So that counts as one. A lot of people, when they start crochet, the tricky part is knowing where to stick your hook in for the next row so if you look at the top of the stitch it's like a little v shape we're going to stick our hook in underneath both of those so there's a little hole there in there so you're gonna yarn over stick your hook in pull it out okay so completed the stitch so Basically that gives you one, two into each two of the stitches below and then the next one goes in to the big, the big gap. Okay. So you're on to now 
chain two. So we're going to follow the pattern. So wherever there's a hole, because you've chained two, you do that again in the next row. Chain two. Now the next stitch goes into that same hole. And here's where we put two more stitches into the two below. As you can see, you put your stitch in there and you put your stitch in there. And now the last one for the group of four is in the hole. So then you can see, and another two chain. You can see here you've completed another a motif. So you've got your four stitches and then you chain two. So we're going to do that another one, two, three, four times quickly. And then I'll show you what to do when you get to the end. Okay, so now we've done a partial group of four and then one, two, three, four, five groups of four. So we want to just finish off that row. So we're going to do chain two. So that gives you that little corner. And then we're going to do one more treble stitch into here. Okay, so now you've got your completed group of four. We just, just like the row before, we're going to slip it into that little uh, top of that three chain. Just pull it through one and two. Okay, so we've done two rows. Okay, now row three is essentially the same, except there's six stitches six treble stitches in every group so we'll start again with the three chain we're going to work one into each of the of these existing trebles plus two on each end so one two three and again it's a little bit tricky here because that three chain corresponds to this one so the next stitch you're working in to is the next treble. So have a look at this little V shape and find the hole there. So just in there where my fingernail is. So yarn over, stick your hook in, pull the yarn through. So now you've got three loops on your hook. Pull the yarn through so you've got two. Pull the yarn through so you've got one. So that's a treble. They should have shown you that at the start. Now we're going to do it, make a corner. So last treble and chain two. So we're going to keep doing that around. So I'll be doing one treble into the hole, one into each stitch another one into the hole and chain two. We'll do that when we, till we get back all the way round. Okay, so we've nearly finished the last round. So all I've got to do is just finish that little section. I'm going to chain two to make the corner treble, so yarn over in the hole, pull the yarn through, pull it through two and pull it through two again. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We need one more and can you see here this is we're putting we're putting it through this stitch there there's a little hole at the top. We're putting it through there both both loops. In and 
Okay, I'll find that. I'm going to slip it. And now we can snip that off and weave the end in and you've got a finished motif. <laughs>